Today, I'm answering the question, are you too stupid to become a programmer? Let's go. Welcome. My name is Anton from Coding Rich. On this channel, I talk mainly about making money, programming and just interesting stuff. Now, you tried to learn programming on your own for a longer time and you see it's not working. And now you ask yourself, are you too stupid for programming? And the answer is yes. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm just joking. The answer is most likely no. Let me explain. Now, if you're new to programming, if you're young and like think about maybe learning it, but maybe your grades and math are not good enough, you think, or you're already an adult and you want to change your profession, but you still doubt yourself if you can actually do it, if you're maybe too stupid for it. And those are valid thoughts, of course. I also had them myself back then when I started many years ago. But uh, let me tell you, this is not some rocket science, this is not something uh, you have to be gifted for. And I'm 100% sure that anyone with a healthy, functioning brain can become a programmer. So if you don't suffer some terrible mental illness, which I hope you don't, you have the ability to become a software developer. The problem consists actually of many problems. Now let me explain them. The first problem is that you don't believe in yourself. Now we human beings, we have so much potential. Just look at all those people who are making great big things. Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, Jesus Christ, Buddha. All those people who everyone knows, they're just people like you and me. They are not some aliens, robots or lizard people. But how do you get confident in your ability to become a programmer? if you have never been one? Now that's a great question. And the answer is consistency. Just look back at your life and think about the things you're confident about. Most likely it will be something about your hobby like some soccer, tennis or playing an instrument or singing or being good in school or playing video games, which is very common for young people. And why are you so confident in them? Have you always been confident in them? I doubt it. You became confident because you saw that you achieved great results. For example, let's say you're good at playing Fortnite. I know many people love it. And first you suck at the game. But then you like get some kills, but then you get better and better. And you get the victory. And you notice, hey, I'm actually winning. I'm actually good at that. And you become confident. Or you're a cool guitar player. First you don't know how to play the guitar. You're not confident, of course. You don't know anything about it. Then you learn the chords, then you learn to play some cool songs, which you can sing at the campfire. Then you learn about very cool solos and people who are like, wow, amazed at you. And then you become very confident. You see what it is. You take baby steps and then you can look back at them and you see, hey, I can actually do it. It's the same with everything, also programming. You just have to write your first Hello World. And you see, hey, it's actually simple. Then you progress into variables, into if-else conditions, into for and why loops, and so on. And then, boom, you're confident already. The second problem is actually very evil. And I also suffered like six, seven years ago when I started out. Um, back then, I tried to learn Java, the programming language, by myself. Uh, like I watched some YouTube videos, like I found some nice tutorials and like, uh, okay, there's variables, there's this hello world program, like there's are those for loops, the while loops, the if else conditions, switch case and so on. It was already very uh, hard to understand, but somehow I got it. And then it came to like object oriented programming, like the first big milestone. And I didn't get it. I didn't get it for several weeks. Only then it made click. I didn't understand why I had to learn all those things. It's very hard to look forward. When you know all those things and you look backwards, okay, you can say, okay, that's why I had to learn this, that's why I had to learn that. It all makes sense. But when you look forward and you learn those things which you don't even understand and you don't know why you need them, you lose confidence, you lose direction, you don't know what to do. And that's demotivating very much. And that's what I suffered. Only then, when I then went to the first company and they taught me properly how to uh, program, then I had the roadmap, that's the keyword. And then I became motivated and then I learned, aha, that's why I need all those things. 
it's like uh, building a lego set like you have all those little things and then you have your instructions and you will see aha there will be this very cool lego star wars and you know ah this is the canon and stuff and those are the aliens or however you call them and then you know what you're using what you need it for and you know the things which are missing which you still have to learn so the keyword is you have to have a roadmap and that's also very tricky because when you go on youtube or on the internet and you ask and you search for a roadmap you will find several roadmaps like uh, i tell you this thing and another guy tells you something else and the third guy says uh, we are both stupid and he has the best way and so on the solution here is just to stick with one that sounds somehow logical that you somehow can like uh, hopefully me and then just do it also ask questions on some forums like on stack overflow for example and slowly you will get to it and the third problem is the most important one you have no goal there is a video on how to set goals if you wonder how to do it but the point here is you can learn programming sure but why do you do it what's the purpose of it to learn programming that's not a goal it's just wishful thinking at best you need to have a goal Maybe your goal is to become a great Angular front-end developer and then find your first job at the company. Maybe you want to become a freelancer and have clients you work for and charge much money. Maybe you want to build your first app for the Play Store. Maybe you want to build the next Minecraft or some snake game or some Flappy Bird or whatsoever. You get the point. Because if you don't have any of those cool goals, you will just learn it and think to yourself like why do i even do it i could like play fortnite instead so that's why you have to sit down and ask yourself why do i want to become a programmer and the answer will probably be like something like i want to build a website or a game or an app that's the most usual answer and then write it down and go for it and then you know that you have to learn those specific languages take those steps to achieve that you can get some cheap course or watch some cool YouTube tutorial on how to do what you want to do. And when you encounter a problem, you just ask people, you just ask on Stack Overflow or on the internet and some Facebook groups. So that's it. You need to become more confident. You need to have a roadmap. You need to have a goal. If you have those three things, you just cannot fail if you aren't too lazy. I promise that it's just logic. It's just a law. So just do it. Let me know your goal in the comments, I really want to hear it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Goodbye.